a student of Pep Guardiola, a revolutionary who opened the doors for Leicester City's return to the Premier League, and now a potential game changer for Chelsea Football Club, just how important is Enzo Maresca for the Blues? Let's further investigate. Maresca's success at Leicester City is built around the following principles. The use of inverted fullbacks, creating numerical advantages, and deploying a possession-oriented and high-pressing game plan. So how will this take effect with Chelsea Football Club? Chances are, Chelsea will line up either with a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1, as the former has been Maresca's primary formation, while the latter has been suited to cater to Chelsea's personnel. In terms of the build-up phase from the deeper areas, Chelsea will begin their progression with either Reese James, Malo Gusto, or Mark Kukureya playing centrally. Pairing them up with Romeo Lavia from the midfield areas would form a pentagon which will allow Chelsea to command possession from deep. And this will allow Chelsea to push Enzo Fernandez further upfield where he can wreck havoc with his passing skills. In case things get rough, Chelsea can send one of their center backs forward or Enzo Fernandez to drop deep to support the inverted fullback and their defensive mid. This could also be used as a tool to bait the opposition and overcommit with a high press, which could free up space for Nicholas Jackson. Then when looking further upfield in terms of possession, Chelsea already has a box midfield, all thanks to their inverted fullback, and this allows the Blues to have a 4v3 advantage against a 4-3-3 formation or a 4v2 against a 4-4-2, though this would become a 4v4 in the midfield areas when the opposing forwards drop deep. This, however, can be mitigated when Chelsea starts dropping their number 9 into the deeper areas, which will become a 5v4 in favor of the Blues. This is also applicable when Chelsea faces an opponent that utilizes a 4-2-3-1 formation. And due to the numerical advantages in essential areas, Chelsea can finally look for ways to move the ball further forward. Chances are, Chelsea's attacking third will feature two wide players like Cole Palmer and Mudrik, two attacking midfielders in Enzo Fernandez, Conor Gallagher, or Moises Caicedo to occupy the half spaces, and a striker. Gallagher or Caicedo's positioning, alongside that of Enzo and one of the wide players, will create overloads to narrow the opposition's defense, and when Enzo receives the ball, his signature switches or his surprise passes to, let's say, Nicholas Jackson, could take effect. Meanwhile, when Chelsea loses possession, Maresca's defensive game plan will now take place. Earlier, we discussed the pentagon shape from the deeper areas, and with five players from the back, Chelsea has the numbers to deal with the opposition's counter-attacking game plan. And combine that with the personnel up front, which features five players, and Chelsea already has a sound high-pressing game, which could be further amplified if Maresca has Caicedo up front. While things are looking promising under Enzo Maresca, there are some question marks that Maresca needs to address in the offseason. Thiago Silva has now departed with the club, and he is one of the most reliable ball-playing center backs for Chelsea, something that is required under Maresca's system. Will Maresca look for a replacement? There's also the question mark on whether Chelsea's fullbacks can fully commit to the inverted role, or if Maresca will go as far as exploring options such as placing Caicedo as a right back or acquiring one of his former players like Ricardo Pereira since it's common for managers to bring in players who are fully aware of their game plan. Will Chelsea remain with Nicholas Jackson or will Maresca opt to use Palmer as a false nine while setting his sights on Elise? Let us know in the comment section your thoughts on Chelsea under Maresca. Anyway, that's all detectives and we hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a like or subscribe to our channel for updates. Until next time, see you around in our next investigation.